Hello everybody and welcome to this video. I'm gonna in this video I'm gonna try and show you as quick and as easy as I can how to get Arch Linux running on your Android phone using a simple chain root. I'm gonna try and do this without installing any applications, although I do have my phone extensively modded using the Magisk root method. Uh, if you use Magisk to root your phone, you know that there are lots of add-ons and modules you can install. Uh, the two big ones, the, the most important one here is probably going to be BusyBox. Um, I actually don't remember if change root is a command that is actually built into Android or not. Uh, but if it's not, you can definitely use BusyBox to do it. Um, anyway, so, and of course, there are also uh, another mod that I highly recommend is one called CCBINS, which is stands for cross-compiled binaries. Uh, which gives you some cool programs that you can use. Uh, they're not necessary, but they make things a little bit easier. All right, let's go ahead and start jumping into it. Pretty sure we're ready to start. So you'll see that on my, on the right-hand side of your screen, uh, will be our sort of working notepad and then on the left hand side these are just notes from different scripts that I've I've caught on to or that I've encountered on the web but some of the scripts that are designed to create an arch change root environment on an Android device some of them are designed for older Android devices some of them are designed for specific tablets so don't just copy and paste this um, I'm going to try and have the simplified notes over here so maybe we'll call this one, you know what? Let's say, uh, let's see, is there's a way here for me to, um, font size project, edit selection, uh, parent project, oh, I don't know. Let's see if I can make it bigger on this on your screen, because this is this. These are the notes that you don't really need to pay much attention to. They're more for me than anything. And over here, I'm going to try and make these notes a little bit bigger. All right, here we go. And since you can't really see the background anyway, let me go ahead and turn it off. All right. And, okay, what can we do here? Can we make this bigger? Yeah, sure, why not? All right, and we'll make that a little bit bigger. And now over on your screen, you should see something of decent size. It should be readable. All right. If it's not readable on the stream, it'll be readable in the recording. <clears throat> okay, so what we want to do here is... Uh, start by just opening a shell into our device. So I'm going to assume that you know all about ADB and how to get open a shell into your device and that your device is rooted and probably has BusyBox installed and everything else. So ADB shell. And we're going to do SU PSH. Yes, that's right. I do have ZSH on my phone. Z shell, which is a drop in replacement for bash, by the way. So if you've never seen it before, oh no, do I need this shell? No, you don't worry, you don't need it. Um, and it's from what I understand, a, literally a one to one replacement for bash. So just use bash if you want. All right. Um, I usually like to go to this folder because there's usually nothing in it and it's just an easy folder to use. All right. Let's go ahead and start by now, you'll see up here, I say, so step one, step one, visit, all right, deter, okay, let's, we'll type this in caps, yeah, determine which arch is right for your device, my own 
as a 64. All right. So this is the basic command that we're going to use um, for getting uh, the root file system. Um, however, you need to know, basically right here is where the architecture is listed and you just need to know what, which one is right for your device. They're all listed right here. Let's see if I can open it up really quick, actually. I'll bet you I can open it up. Oh, I'll bet you I'll bet you I can open it up in a browser. Let me see if I can do that. Browser, 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 browser. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. We'll just call it browser, and we'll go to this website right here, and we'll make it uh, ten twenty four by seven six eight. And I should be able to. Uh, hmm. What is going on here? Body, background, color. Oh! <laughs> I think I understand now. All right. Uh, is this going to work? No. Come on. Nope. Still not going to work. My goodness. Um, oh, there we go. Excellent. So, in this uh, browser here, we can see... Um, we have different architectures listed. Um, there's some for specific boards, but since we're doing an Android build, um, we're going to pick the uh, generic multi-platform one. This is the generic one. And so they've got version 7 and version 8 for different ARM CPUs or ARM architectures. Um, so since I have a later phone, I can look for a later version of the multi-platform and it yeah it just says multi-platform that's sort of generic basically and that's where anyway this is this is where i get the um link from all right so now we have that out of the way so that's how we get this link so what do we have here already? Uh, CC bins, backup. By the way, if you don't have CC bins, I really recommend that you get it. It has, comes with a lot of binaries built in. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start by downloading the latest Arch root file system. It's going to take a second here to start downloading. Uh, so let's see, we've got, in my notes here, we've got some cool features here. Uh, I'm not going to write a script to do this for me, but if I wanted to, this is probably how I would do it. Um, so I'll just write some simple instructions here. We'll just, we'll just start up with like a quick start guide. Okay, it's going to take us a while to download. Fun. All right, well, while that's going, uh, so what I'm going to do, what am I going to do? Well, some of this is designed to run inside of a script, and I'm going to start by just doing it, and I'm not going to make a script at first. We'll just go through these, like, one by one, like, instead of instructions. All right, so, yeah, okay, we can, we can do that. 
Um, this is a cool function right here that tests if the script is running as root. Just this part right here. That's cool. Um, but of course, I, this is not a script. These are just notes. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. If directory. Okay, so we have directory mount. Okay, export mount. Uh, if. Then okay, that's just an if statement. So basically, in bash, you're going to run this command, this command, and then we'll run. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah, this is one line. Oops. Oh. oh, I see. Couldn't fit at all, huh? Oh, nope. It's not doing it. It's not stretching it out. Whatever. All right. So we'll just run each of these line by line when it's done. OK. Oh, actually, then, okay. actually, you know what I should say? Step one, step two, open a DB shell to Android. become root go to data local step three okay Download root fs for Arch Linux. And hopefully, let me check and make sure that you can kind of see this. I hope you can see it at least a little bit. Oh my goodness. That's looking pretty bad. Yeah, it is looking pretty bad on the stream. What can I do? What can I do to correct this conundrum? Can I... Nope, I cannot change the... Oh, no. I suppose I can change it to prefer maximum quality, and then we can, like, set the bitrate to be maybe 700 or something. And then we'll just do that for a while and see what happens over here. Um, okay, well, bitrate's going to probably improve a little bit. Um, what can we do as far as... Let me see if I can look at the stream. Yeah, quality's not great. You can kind of make it out, though. Let's see, what can I do to improve it? Video, no, let's see, output. I think probably the only thing I can do to improve it at this point is just something like, I don't know, max bitrate, change that up a little bit. And we can do something like, I don't know, 
850 here. That should make it more legible. Um, there we go. Should be should be a little bit easier to read now. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that looks better. Oh my. Yeah, that looks a lot better. All right. Here we go. All right. Then uh, step four. Uh, it's going to be make der arch cd arch tar xvf slash Well, we could just say file you. Okay. Your arc. All right. Oh, excellent. We're already done. Um, oh, I see here. Yeah, it, it did um, shrink down a little bit here. All right. And what I should be able to do is I should be able to move this down a little bit. Oh, man. It's going to be tough. About the only thing I can really do is maybe I can move this down a little bit and then just hope that you guys can kind of make uh, heads or tails of this. All right. You'll be able to see it in the console for sure. All right. So now what we're going to do is going to make a directory arch. And now I'm going to CD arch. And we're going to extract our uh, root file system into this directory. So tar, xvf, dot, dot, dot. x means extract, v means verbose, and f means force. So if it doesn't want to, we're going to say do it anyway. And Arch Linux. Okay. Excellent. So we're just going to extract all of this. All right. Excellent. And now what we're going to do is we're going to um, move on to the next step here, which is we're going to declare some variables and So, hold on. Let's uh, shrink. What can I do here? Yeah. So, okay, I see. If I shrink this, then you should be able to read what I'm typing up here in the console. All right, yeah. So, next step. Step five. Type out these commands indi individually oh export kit I don't think this is necessary actually is this necessary I don't think it is I think we can probably skip this yeah we can get rid of that I don't know if that one's going to be necessary, actually, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right. So we're going to start off with this. And 
and we're gonna go back over to my notes. What comes next? Ah. Uh, Okay, we'll call this one step six set up mount points. This is the tricky part because obviously it's a change root environment, which means it needs to use the same kernel that Android is using. So, uh, Okay, I commented those out. So we're just going to look at copying these commands right here. Mm, okay. And uh, just, just those commands right there are the only ones that we need. This is just a quick and dirty of getting started. All right, so we're going to start by mounting. Oh, right, right. Actually, we're going to need to make this directory really quick. This is only if you want to bind your SD card inside of your uh, Arch Linux environment. So if you do <clears throat> make dir... Okay, so I'm going to bind I'm just going to go through each of these uh, one by one and then just, you know, okay. All right. So we just did bind now. Okay. I'm going to bind. Oh, hold on. Uh, let me check some notes here. Um, okay. Okay. It's empty already. I was going to see if I needed to delete whatever was in there, but no, it looks like. It looks like it's the root file system without a kernel, which is good. That's what we wanted. All right, we're going to do this. Uh, all right. Now, sys. Mount. All right, that should be it. Let's see, we're almost done. Uh, oh, that's right, yeah, network forwarding. Yeah, it's all right. This is probably a step seven. All right, step. Seven. Ooh, okay. Yes. All right. We've got step seven. Set up network for a. So we're going to go to this one first. Uh, yeah, that's IP forwarding, so that lets us forward IP commands to the chain root environment. Um, actually, I don't think that command's necessary, but whatever, we did it anyway, so. Um, and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to print... Um, well, first I want to make sure that the file here is already empty. And 
no such file or direct. Oh, good. Good, good, good. It's fine. It's what we want. Yeah, we're going to do this first. And these are just, uh, if you're wondering, and it says name server 8.8.8, .8 that's just the public Google DNS. You can replace this with any DNS you want. You have to put something in here, otherwise Arch isn't going to be able to resolve any domain names. Yeah, I know. You're supposed to create it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Touch. I guess we have to touch it. Touch. Touch. What do you mean? What do you mean? There's no such... Uh... What? Live troubleshooting, everybody. Yeah, okay. And then in here... Right? What, what, what do I got to do? What do I just have to like? I mean, I can just do V. Okay, here we go. That'll that'll work. Maybe I just needed to do that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, man. We'll leave this as touch, even though I obviously, for some reason, have to do V. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. All right. Oops. Yeah, I'm stupid. What am I doing here? We just want this. There we go. Why is it keep we you okay? No, such... why can't you make it? What is wrong? Okay, well, maybe we can make it when we're in the change root environment or something. I don't, I don't know. I, I didn't have that problem last time. That's that's the joy of... Oh, uh, yeah, we got to sign up. We got to set up Pac-Man. We got to do all this stuff. Uh, okay. I think... I'm fairly certain that most of what is down here we don't actually need... Oh, what does this say? Change root, nice, and I do put proc, oh. I'm sure that that's not necessary. All right. And, uh, do, 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 do. All right, and then, okay, so let's, let's try this. Let's try ch change, change root into, uh, right. Mount root. Uh, we want to do bin bash. So we're going to change root into basically the arch folder. And then our shell is going to be bash. Oh. Okay, yeah. And our shell is going to be bash. Let's try this. All right, it works. We are in Arch Linux. And if I do uh, COS release, it should say, yeah, Arch Linux. All right. We should be able now. Let's try this. Um, uh, 
obviously. Okay, we're going to try this. Can we do it? This does not make any sense to me. Why are you unable to create a file? Well, okay, I know that there's no file or directory, but why can't you make it? Is this like an SC Linux thing or something? Resolve con. Con. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, that does not make any goddamn sense. Um get prop was it oh get se no uh state no 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 what was it get prop Mm. Oh, and force. Okay. Uh, let's try set prop and force. And oh, you know what? Get prop enforcing. Nope. Enforce. Ah. Uh, uh, let me try something here real quick. Uh, get uh, force. Yeah. And force. Oh, okay, there we go. See, I feel like this might be. Maybe this is what's doing it. Okay. No, 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 no. You stay down. All right. Uh, okay. Can we write this file? Oh, my God. Oh, we did it. Oh. I had to turn off SC Linux. Hold on a second there. Actually, you know what? Let's try this. What the fuck? Fuck, motherfucker. You fucker. Just... Just okay, okay, let's try it again, let's try again, okay, is that a resolve? And okay, okay. And I don't know, 
maybe we, no, maybe we should try that again just in case. Uh, yep. Okay. What? I the word of word. Okay. You know what? Let's try. Let's try. Let's try outside of the directory. Okay. Let's try. Let's try out here. All right. Let's try. Let's try here. Okay. We're going to put this into this file. Aha, there we go. Ah, there we go. All right. All right. Here's what we can do. Um, we can come back here to our steps and we can change this. We could. Actually, you know, we, yeah, CD local and then we'll do <clears throat> resolve. There we go. And then we can move, move. into um, so so if we try and do this command now Okay, so etc is all. Wow. Okay, excellent. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, probably gonna have to do the same thing here with um, the hosts file. So what we're gonna have to do is change this over. Just gonna make this posts. All right, and then we're gonna have to move the posts. All right. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. All right. We're almost there. All right. Actually, we are pretty much there, actually. All right, step eight. Um, change root. All right, just change root. Out. Bin. Bash. We're almost there. All right. Now we need to edit uh, the configuration file for the Pac-Man manager. Uh, step nine, edit Pac-Man comp. Uh, C pack man conf. Yep. 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 Edit at C pack man conf. And we're gonna, we're gonna comment out a specific option. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah. V is no, no. Uh, V is kind of messed up because there's no configuration for it. Uh, use Nano. You'll get much better results with Nano. All right. So we just need to come out, comment out a certain option. All right. 
see this right here? Check space. That's all we got to do. Gotta comment it out. Write the file. That's all we got to do. Comment out. Check space. That's what it was, right? Uh, check. Check space. Check space. With there. All right. Okay. Close that. All right. Step ten. Step ten. We're going to have to initialize Pac-Man. All right, OK. Oh. Okay. Well, initialize. Oh, let's see. Let's let's um use this. All right. Uh, fruit. Change fruit. And step 10, we'll have it say initialize Pac Man keys. All right. Should be nice and big for you there. All righty. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to type out these commands. This one's probably not necessary. I don't think there's anything here. Yeah, there's nothing there. All right. So now we've got Pac-Man running. Pac-Man, uh, I think S U does upgrades. There's nothing to do. All right. I guess everything is the latest already. Uh, but we can install Neo Fetch. Yes, we do. All right. Now we can type it out. Neo fetch. Hey, 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 here we go. There we go. This is it. This is Arch Linux running on the Android phone. Pretty cool, huh? I think it's pretty cool. I hope you think it's pretty cool. Uh, oh, 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 it's definitely, I see. Hold on. 
Gotta move this up a little bit. All right, here we go. Yep, there it is. That's Arch Linux running on the Android. Uh, shell ZSH. Oh, okay, that's weird. Um, ZSH. All right. So we can do shell ZSH now. Um, we can do, let's see, what can we, what else can we do here? Um, Let's see if I can back this out a little bit here and then zoom up a little. I'll scroll up a little bit here just so you guys can see it a little better. All right. Oh, my goodness. You can't really see it now, can you? Eh. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see the whole thing. Ooh. Well, hopefully you were following along, but I'll definitely try and put some of this in the show notes. Yeah, definitely try and put that in the show notes. All right, so in the meantime now, we've got... Um, we've got, I wonder if we can do, uh, I wonder, okay, we type exit, we go back to Z shell, bin bash, can we do ZSH inside of Arch Linux? Oh my god, Neo fetch. Let's, let's, um. Let's scroll some of this down a little bit here. Just so you can see it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And let's see, what are we going to do? Um, what's something else that we can put on here? Let's put, all right. Well, I think, I think we've achieved the main goal here. We've got Arch Linux running inside of our Android phone in a change root environment. There you go. Arch Linux. And we can install packages, and we can obviously run programs and stuff. Um, and as far as you know, running programs, can we run programs? I think we can. Um, do 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 out message return mount. I seem to remember there was a something in here about start find. Uh, okay, well, well, I can't seem to find start here because I seem to remember something about there was a command in here that had something to do with uh, if you uh, had a program that wanted to run at boot. Inside of Arch, you would get problems inside of a change root environment, but uh, da, 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 da. 
Alright. Do 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 Feel like I've done enough here. So there you have it. Arch Linux running on your Android phone.